Hi there everyone, this is AST bring you Destiny 6 uh, yep. So this is my first video with audio So bear with me I'm trying to make this as good as possible if I can So yep. So first of all before I start I would like to showcase one of the best monsters that I've been using throughout many scenarios And that is Paper Code So I'm going to talk about some of his skills and why I think that he's one of the best units First of all, um, let's talk about his skills. So, one thing very important about him is that it's good to level his skill up to level 4 for both skills. Okay, reason being, for the first skill, he has the bleed, bleeding chance up to 38%, as well as 9 seconds um, bleed. So he he attacks twice, so you are able to land to the uh, to bleeding effect, and that is very essential for conquests and giants. It's one of the best monsters, one one of the best bleeders actually, that cause menses to the boss. Yep, <coughs> and there are others other units that can give, but um, Paper Crow is one of the easiest to delete that much status activation on him as compared to other units. So let's move on to the second skill <coughs> And why do I think that second skill is important to put it at level 4 and not level 5 it's because of utility What you want him to do is to be able to reduce the cooldown and of course increase the break chance into uh, break point into 2 and as well to remove buff so it's a strip of 2 buffs on the enemy and being able to stun for 3 seconds actually if you're not going to use it for PvE that much it's recommended to put it at, le at least level 3 because of the 25 seconds cooldown you really need to cool down especially if you're going to use it for PvP and it doesn't matter whether you strip 1 buff or 2 buff mm, <coughs> I'll explain to you why later on because um, I'm just going to stun lock so it doesn't matter whether the open buffs or not <coughs> so yeah level 3 is decent Level 4 if you're using it more for PvE purposes and if you're using for long battles um, against buffers, um, level 4 would be recommended. And this being said, uh, having two breakpoints is much more better than, <coughs> than yeah, most cases since because um, the new Giant 8 I'm going to showcase later, um, his breakpoints are really important. So that's about his skill. The reason why I don't make it to level 5 is because additional damage and to me additional damage is too little as you can see from here. There's a gain of 7% of max HP damage which is kinda meh. And same goes to this skill as well. 7% more damage 7% more um, damage based on HP is not that worth in my opinion. Save up that 4, uh, four skill re Ragoons for some other units it will be more worthwhile so before i continue um you must be wondering why i give ops um for crit rate ops actually the reason why i give crit rate ops is because probably um that's only the place where i farm <laughs> farm my ops and gene maps so that i can open up um paper so secret dungeon that will help me skill up my paper soul hole to the max. Currently he's max already so I still want to hunt more paper soul holes so that I can use it for more teams in Carlos Trolls. Yep. So this is my paper code. I give him all um great uh, crest as you can see the great uh, green. So my priority for paper code is first to have at least 15% status activation chance because the first skill has 38% chance to stun and bleed and the second skill have a 35% stun so if you add 15% it is like can you can say that you can stun 50% of the chance so as you can see um, my status activation is 10 because um, I use I actually gave him gave the title to another paper crew for conquest earlier I forget to put it back so with that now we have a proper stats on my paper code 
and as you can see now he has 15% status activation chance as well as 23% skill cooldown reduction that is very essential for me especially in pvp to be able to stun lock 100% of the chance and you want that cooldown to be as high as possible because you don't want to waste any time to um, yeah you can't just let the opponent have any time to move so having a stun lock would be very essential for paper code especially if we're gonna use it for pvp so this is my paper code and why do i just kept it at 50 percent 15 percent status activation chance is because next to introduce you the best soulmate for paper code would be paper helga so i'm gonna talk more about paper helga because she is really easily comboed with other units paper helga is really an awesome unit so as you can see currently I don't have enough skill regon so you can see the first skill is level 2 and second skill is level 2 so let's gonna let's talk about her skill so first of all the reason why I level up to level 2 for the first skill is because you can see the cooldown reduction and that is important to me especially when I'm gonna use her for PvP you want her skill to cool down as fast as possible and then to yeah okay the reason why um, at least level 2 status activation chance is because the 50% that will guarantee the stun for people core because people core has a total of 35% from his skill I gave him 15% from his uh, ops and crest and I managed to get up to 50% so with this buff he has 100% chance to stun so it's guaranteed a stun unless the open resisted and I do not know how the accuracy and resistance work in this game yet at the moment but most of the time it stuns 100% unless resisted perhaps from the resistor um, crest so actually what I want to aim is to reach level 5 of this um, buff because the 5 second cooldown is what I really need so that I can immediately buff in my PvP team currently if RNG is bad on me I need to wait for 5 seconds to, for this buff to activate so let me give her back the, um, the title that which, which I gave to my second paper Helga so I give her cooldown because I, she really needs it in my pvp team so as long as I max her second skill I believe she can my paper crew could stun every time and this is the stats so what you sh what i aim for is the high skill cooldown reduction which is 24 percent and later on i'm going to showcase you in my pvp team um how good is she together with paper code so why not let me just show you my team for arena common arena and maybe a bit of special arena where i also use this to duo to win most of my matches 